My name is John Curtis. I am born and raised in Oregon. I live outside of Eagle Point, a few miles, so it's kind of rural. I enjoy Southern Oregon. I sometimes regret not having the resources and and, and things that uh, you know urban life offer, but it's a nice trade-off. Since 1969, I've been in a wheelchair, but I do like to get out and and see people who are like-minded that really want to roll up their sleeves and, and accomplish some better, uh, some change, you know, better uh, society. And, you know, without good transportation, uh, I'm not able to get there. Used to be there was a transportation service that extended up and down um, the corridor I live off of, uh, but funding kind of put an end to their ability to provide services. So now I pretty much stay at home unless I need to go to the doctor's office. Non-emergency medical transportation is a system um, whereby uh, vendors who contract with a CCO, um, they get this money through the uh, stream, federal uh, government Medicaid stream, they're able to send a vehicle that's equipped, for instance, for a person such as myself. I live in a very beautiful part of the, the world, and it's just such a wondrous thing to be able to behold when you're you know, going to a doctor appointment. And I can see, see the, whole, um, you know, the whole countryside as I go, which is kind of a thrill when you don't get out of the house. But not only just the, the ride getting there, the expectation of being able to be with other people um, and to be able to accomplish something, you know, that is a thrill too. Talk about, you know, people who are marginalized because of where they live. For people who live in places um, that are well beyond transportation, you know, districts, um, yeah, they just don't have a whole lot of options. They probably are looking for support, but a lot of people just don't have family supports. It's just, it's not like it was when I was growing up as a child. You know, we had a really tight community of folks that was supporting one another, and it seems like our society is a little more fragmented. And people such as myself will probably um, migrate more toward urban centers if transportation is a real important thing.